Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. Tila Tequila is who we're looking at today, so let's jump right in. And thank you to the person that recommended looking at this woman. As many said in the video regarding heresy hunters, you don't need to hunt when you're bumping into these people everywhere you go, and today is a doozy. Her name is Tila Tequila, and this is her site. She actually calls herself Michael the Archangel, and we'll show you a video clip of that in just a moment. And she's got 126,000 subscribers. This once again shows how misled the Christian world is. Because we're going to see that she's on a level of confusion that makes Kat Kerr look like a super genius. And notice the actual spelling of her name below, yet she spells it like the liquor at the top. And speaking of that video down below, if you actually listen to her song, she's swearing, dropping F-bombs, and busting a rhyme like a gangster. Another thing you'll notice is that comments are turned off on all her videos. So, if we go back to the videos page, I really don't know how such a foul-mouthed woman could be making a video about lukewarm Christians. And she posted the rap video the very next day. And folks, we're just getting started. If we go to her homepage, her introduction video says that she is the woman of Revelation, and we can see more of that here. If we scroll down, she says, to summarize everything very quickly and easily here, I am the infamous Revelation 12 woman talked about in the Bible. I am the mother to all of God's children, and I am the bride of Christ, his wife, and I am the only one. This is next level wacky noodle soup we're talking about here. She does another video explaining how she became the only begotten daughter of God. This is straight up blasphemy. When we read that Jesus is the only begotten son in John 3.16, begotten means a one of a kind that came from God and shares in the same divine nature as God. We are all created beings that can be adopted into the family of God and become his sons and daughters. But this is the same nonsense Paula White said with Larry Hutch. According to Hebrews, that Jesus is our high priest. Absolutely. And he's the first of many brethren, which means I now come into a priestly anointing. So I now can... S say that again, because I they now, don't get it. I now come into a priestly anointing. Jesus is not the only begotten on. Son of God. He is not. I'm a son of he's God. He's the first fruit. If you've, you're the, he's the first fruit. He's the first born of many. Can, Jesus is not the only begotten on. Son of God. He is not. So Miss Tequila saying this is just... Just absurd. In another video, she says that as being Jesus' wife, she has the same mark where Jesus was stabbed and goes on to show what is obviously a birthmark. In another video, she says that she's the angel of death. So she's God's only begotten daughter, she's the archangel Michael, she's the angel of death, she's the only wife of Christ, and the list goes on. She even exposes her biblical ignorance by posting a video saying that the seventh seal just opened and that she is the angel of the Lord who sounds the trumpet. And she's got 27 thumbs up already. So we'll finish this off with a video where she says she's Michael the Archangel and has defeated Satan and is about to pour out her wrath upon the earth. But listen, now that I'm back, because I'm Michael the Archangel who fought against Satan and his his army. So I'm also Michael the Archangel here. And uh, they obviously could not defeat me. I mean, it was a long battle, but obviously I'm here. I'm back. I'm re reclaiming my rightful throne and position, which they try to take from me. So... So this is what my father says because of all this happening and uh, all the uh, the wicked forces trying to devour me. This is what's about to happen next. Uh, and I am the angel who gets to do this. And the angel thrust. So this is after the war and after Michael, me, the archangel, defeats all of them. This is what happens after that. And the angel thrust in his sickle into the earth and gathered the wine of the earth and cast into the, into the great wine press of the wrath of God, Revelation 14, 19. So after this war took place 
and I overcame and I won and I beat them and they lost their place in heaven. Um, now God's about to pour out his wrath upon them. So shouldn't have messed with me. Folks, this is a very confused woman. She says that she's the angel that gets to pour out God's wrath. I mean, what's left to say? Some things just speak for themselves and don't need much added to them. I'll leave the link to her site below so you can check out some of her short videos for yourself. But as always, leave your thoughts and comments below. And until next time, take care and God bless.